Hey, Middletown's Mayor Tony Perry, and I am down here at the Middletown Recycling Center on Canes Lane. And today, we're going to follow the life cycle of styrofoam and EPS that you drop off here in our Where Does It Go Recycling Education series. Now, recycling our styrofoam not only takes a product once thought of only as a pollutant and gives it a second life, but it also saves precious space in our county landfill. Now, Middletown is very proud to have been the first municipality in the state of New Jersey to offer its residents styrofoam recycling. And we're gonna show you exactly how it goes from looking like this to looking like this. After you drop off your styrofoam, township employees must first put it through our foam cycle machine. This machine breaks down the styrofoam, heats it, and expels it where it is molded into pallets for shipping. This removes much of the air from the foam and prepares it for manufacturing at the facility. The pallets of styrofoam, which weigh about 50 pounds a piece, are then shipped to Princeton Molding, which is the only company of its kind in the United States. The styrofoam is first put through a grinder to create smaller beads of foam. The beads are then sent to a processing facility where air molecules are removed. Once they return, they are mixed with a specialized rubber, which is added to prevent the frames from becoming too brittle. Both items are combined in this machine to create the ideal mixture of styrofoam, rubber, and several other ingredients, and comes out in pellets ready to be processed. If frames are ever defective, damaged, or no longer needed, they can be shredded and back into this mixture and reused. The pellets are then poured into this machine that melts it together and adds a light top coat that allows for detail to be adhered to the surface of the frame. It is then pushed through a mold to create the frame shape. After going through the mold, the frame needs to be cooled immediately in water to prevent further expansion. After being pulled through the cooling troughs, the frame goes through a series of fans to be dried. Next, it is pulled through several rollers that adhere color and detail to the surface. For larger, more detailed pieces, frames may need to go through this process several times to create the desired effect. Frames are then cut automatically, packaged, and ready for shipping. Since purchasing this styrofoam recycling machine in December of 2019, Middletown has now recycled almost 5,000 cubic yards of polystyrene, or 46 tractor trailers filled front to back, side to side from entering our landfill, saving the county almost $75,000 in space. Keep it up, Middletown, and I'll see you soon at the Middletown Recycling Center.